Imagine a world, a world ravaged by hurricanes. A world where thousands of species are going extinct. A world plagued with massive floods. Fortunately, we can make choices that will lead our world to a more sustainable future. A choice we can make to lower our carbon emissions begins with how we partition and develop land. One project in Santa Rosa where we're getting actively involved in trying to create this type of community is right here in Railroad Square. Um, as you can see, there is a big piece of empty property behind you. Um, this has been empty since Santa Rosa was a town, basically. Um, and it's owned by the train um, agency, the smart agency. So there is an agency trying to bring back a train to Sonoma and Marin so that people can get places without having to drive. It's one new option in transportation. Um, but so they are planning to build a three to five story, three different buildings over here that will have retail kind of stores on the bottom story that will be interesting that people want to walk over here to come check out and go shopping at. It'll have a restaurant and a farmer's market that people want to come visit and you know go eat out at restaurants or go buy their groceries at the farmer's market. And then it'll have apartments and offices above that where people will live. And so bringing this type of development into this area will be bringing people here all throughout the day. So there's a movement to bring people to downtown so that there are people living here who can then walk easily to all the things that are down here without having to drive. So if you think about that, by putting people in an area, by mixing in residential and retail, you're creating more people coming into your stores without the need for more parking. Another choice we can make to reduce our carbon emissions is to first make greener changes at home. A great example of a green building is the Environmental Technology Center at Sonoma State University. Yeah, my name is Armando Navarro. I'm the Assistant Director of the Environmental Technology Center, which you see behind me. The main focus was how do we design a building that has the least amount of impact, uses the least amount of energy and water, and uses materials in the most you know, efficient way uh, possible. You know, this, you know, this is basically foam insulation. Uh, and it's sandwiched in between two building boards. And that's what the walls are made out of. There is no, what you're referring to is normally, there's pieces of wood here that are called studs, that's a framing that hold up the weight of the roof uh, and are necessary you know, for the building to be strong enough to, to stand up. Uh, with this one here, the whole panel becomes what holds up the building, and so you don't need those other pieces of wood. So besides being more energy efficient, you use about 30% less wood. What I'm holding here is also another great innovation. This is our solar electric panels. This is what it's made out of. And I'll pass it around. Uh, it's a very flexible film. And its, uh, its value is that it's very easy to attach to the building. Even though we bring the sun in, if you have materials like this, it's where you store the energy. This is what would happen is that the energy would come in, the heat would be put in here, and then over time, they would slowly get released, and the temperature wouldn't be going up and down. So that's the importance of this kind of material. Now all we need to do is to take one step in the right direction and reverse our actions.